Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds. This week, in celebration of our most anticipated film of the year, Dark Knight Rises, we're going back to the Batman franchise, this time, top five best and worst things about the Batman series. Also, stick around to the end of the video because we've got a sweet contest going on that's uh, related to the Batman film. What, are we giving away a Batmobile? No, we're... Where are we going to get a Batmobile? We're, I don't know, it doesn't seem feasible. We're, we're giving away a Fandango gift card, I guess, spoiler alert, but uh, we'll talk about details at the end of the video. So now a Fandango gift card on top of a Batmobile, which we can afford. Where are you getting Batmobile? So let's start on the negative and go with the number five worst thing in the Batman series, and that's Mr. Freeze puns from Batman and Robin. Those are ridiculous. Ice to see you. Get down. Cool out. Welcome to the party, pal. Wait, you're not even doing the right movie. No, I'm not even doing puns. Oh. You are not sending me to the cooler. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Stay cool, bird boy. All right, everyone. Chill. My number five best thing about the Batman series, the only good thing to come out of Batman Forever, Chris O'Donnell. Get out. Yeah. It's Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Clips? Play them. Still with the clips. I'll send you a riddle. The Riddler. Back to the Crabtastic list, we got the number four spot going to Catwoman, the spin-off from the Batman series. That movie sucked so bad, it was really disappointing when you see it on TV and you're like, oh good, Batman, then there's just nothing. Somehow they made Holly Berry look ridiculous in the costume, on top of the cheesy puns like, chill out and ice to see you. Wait, now you're doing the Mr. Freeze puns? My number four most awesome thing about the Batman franchise so far is definitely Michael Keaton as Batman. First in the 1989 original, and then again in Batman Returns. He didn't even need to fight in those movies. He just, he just was badass. I don't know if it was the jawline, if it was the eyes. There's something about him. Just eat him up. Just gobble him up. Wait, what? <laughs> you missed. I'm gonna move the bat signal on over to the worst list again with number three, and that's the injustice done to Two Face in two movies. We're talking Batman Forever, he's just a total toolbox, played by Tommy Lee Jones. And then again in The Dark Knight, they like build him up just to kill him off before he has a chance to shine. And that to me is an injustice. That's almost borderline <laughs> rape. Number three on my most awesome Batman moments list is a scene in Batman Joker Begins. Joker makes the pencil disappear in the dark night. I'm going with Batman Begins towards the end of the movie when the gas is released in the city and Batman flies overhead and all the people see him as a big monster a with red scene, eyes. It's a good scene. Yeah, play the clip. Oh, now, now you're doing that? It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Bruce? It's getting a little somber over on the negative list, and that's mainly because of Joel Schumacher, a director who's solely responsible for killing the original Batman franchise. Tim Burton took it in a great direction. Joel Schumacher flushed it down the toilet with neon colors. He ruined great characters like Poison Ivy, uh, Mr. Freeze, Two-Face, of course. He killed careers like Val Kilmer's, Chris O'Donnell's, and Alicia Silverstone's. Little known fact is uh, Val Kilmer just retired from movies after doing Batman Forever. Unofficially, and then he came back later as Fat Kilmer, much like Alec Baldwin did. Sir Alec Baldwin. Sorry. He's not a sir. In a Joel Schumacher film, it all comes together. We're going to need a bigger cave. Batman and Robin. Cruising up to number two on the most awesome Batman moments in history, it's the Batmobile, 1989 original movie. Michael Keaton in the Batmobile. A lot of gadgets, a lot of crazy shit. It's amazing how they took that original campy Adam West vehicle and turned it into something awesome, and then later ruined it and made it a Hummer. We're getting to the bottom of the list here on the worst. And or the top. Or the top, nice. And that's the number one spot. It's hard to even choke down the words, but there's only two, and that's George Clooney. Followed by a lot more words that I'm going to say now because I have a lot of bad to say about this guy. I mean, he's not even a good actor. Why is he a, why is he a thing still? I mean, I would have rather said Danny DeVito as Batman than George Clooney. 
Hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. Number one best thing ever to happen in any Batman movie ever, ever in history yeah. of the franchise of Batman movies ever. Heath Ledger as Joker. I knew it way back in 10 Things I Hate About You. Thought to myself, that, that kid kid's going to be a star someday. someday. He's going to go really far in life. I can't, I can't wait, wait to see what he does, does next. You've said that before. Have I? A couple times. Batman series. Corey's now going to talk about a contest. That's right. We're giving away a $50 Fan Dango gift card to one lucky winner. Here's what you have to do win. Get over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash moviefeuds. You have to like Movie Feuds there and then comment on your favorite Batman moment so far. You have to comment to win. You have to comment to win. We'll select one lucky winner and you if you want the, to. You'll get, the, you'll, get the, you'll get the prize. That's, That's right. That's the bottom line and the top line. It's all the lines. <laughs> More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Subscribe to us on YouTube also. Something about him, I don't know if it was the eyes or the, the jawline, it just spoke to me in a way that almost uncomfortable Wait, at a certain level. I'm gonna move the old Bat Lighthouse over onto the number three spot on bat the worst signal. list. Whatever. It's, it's a Bat Lighthouse in some comics. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Batmobile from the 1989 and Batman Returns. That thing became an icon after Adam West kind of made it a campy little... I like how you said, and Batman Returns. <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was gonna not say it because I've been saying it every time. <laughs> and then again, in Batman, you know, Dark Knight Rises, he just doesn't get any justice. He's Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight penetrates. <laughs> Dark Knight, just that one. I'm gonna move the bat signal. As soon as I saw that kid, 10 things I hate about you, I knew. That kid, kid's gonna be a star, star someday. someday. <laughs> yeah.